So let's come to the most interesting aspect of Bitcoins, its price. And that's the price of Bitcoins from the beginning till recent times. And when somebody new gets, looks at this graph and he says, I mean, can't you see Bitcoin had its heydays last year and it's dying now. It's time to run away. Well, not so soon. What I've done is I've divided this graph into what I call as previous boom cycles. So let's zoom in to the first boom cycle, which is just the second year of Bitcoin in 2010. And when you zoom into this boom cycle one, this flat line actually looks a little bit like this. So in 2010, just the second year of Bitcoin, which I call the boom cycle one, Bitcoin's price went from just a couple of cents, negligible, to 39 cents, and then crashed to 19 cents. Can you imagine what the people who got involved in Bitcoins just at that time said? Bitcoin is dying, can't you see? But not so soon. Because next year from 19 cents, Bitcoin crossed dollar parity. This is just the third year of its existence and touched $28 but then again crashed to $2, giving the skeptics another reason to shout, Bitcoin is dead. From $2 in 2012, 2013, Bitcoin touched a whopping $230 and crashed to $66. And then it's from $66 in 2014, in a couple of months, Bitcoin crossed $1,150 after that crashing to around $180 a couple of months back. And today's price is around $250 to $300. It's kind of on an upward trend. Maybe a good time to buy. So the skeptics were shouting that Bitcoin is dead at 19 cents and then $2 and then $66 and then $180. We've heard it before. But the Bitcoin believers whom we fondly call as Bitcoiners are not complaining. 